Our Atlantis objects can be simple 3D objects like cars, bicycles, and other vehicles, or furniture of any type like this bench, for example. These people are also simple 3D objects, as are these flowers. For all of these objects, we can change the shaders and set their size and position. In addition to these average 3D objects, there are specific objects with particular parameters. Some of the plant objects, for example, can change depending on a calendar date. They can be synchronized with the Heliodon date, or you can set their own customized date in the inspector. Such a tree will be different during winter, spring, summer, or fall. It's enough to change the calendar date in the inspector, and the tree will automatically change. Another particular parameter of these plants is the transparency. You can fade out the tree and show what's behind it. Some of the 3D people can also behave and move in different ways. In their inspector, there is a list with behaviors and a slider setting the progression of the movement. In animations, these 3D animated people will walk or run along a path. All you need to do is set the path and choose the appropriate movement type from the list. Billboards are simple images that can feature plants, people, or other things. They are very light objects able to fa face the camera all the time. If this option is checked, they can be used in animations or panoramas as well. By setting them to transparent, we can reveal the building behind or just set a rendering with a particular style. Another object type contains light sources. In the inspector, besides the list of shaders mapped on the street lamp, we'll find the list of its light sources as well. Similar to shaders, light sources are also editable. The list items function as direct links to the appropriate inspectors. To see the effect of the light, I quickly change the time for the Heliodon, and here you are. We've set a night scene by using an Atlantis object with a light source.